Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 24, Homework. Number 1, Pat's Potato Farm grew 490 pounds of potatoes. Pat delivered three-sevenths of the potatoes to a vegetable stand. The owner of the vegetable stand delivered two-thirds of the potatoes he bought to a local grocery store, which packaged half of the potatoes that were delivered into five-pound bags. How many five-pound bags did this grocery store package? So let's start back at the very beginning and work through this um, in a sentence by sentence. So they grew 490 pounds of potatoes and Pat delivered three sevenths of those potatoes to a vegetable stand. So let's start with figure by figuring out how many were delivered to the vegetable stand. So we need to find out what three sevenths of 490 would be. Now remember, of is another word for time, so we're going to do 3 sevenths times 490. So let's start by doing 490 times 3. And we would get 1,470. And then if we multiply the denominator, 7 times 1 is 7. So to figure out what that is, in a whole number rather than an improper fraction, let's do four, 1,470 divided by seven. So seven can't go into one, but it can go into 14 twice. Bring down the seven. Seven goes into seven one time. Bring down the zero. Seven can't go into zero, so we have to bring a zero up there. There's nothing to bring down and no remainder. So this is equal to 210. So they delivered 210 potatoes to the vegetable stand. So the next part says the owner of the vegetable stand delivered two thirds of the potatoes he bought to a local grocery store. So two thirds of 210, let's do the same thing. So remember of means time, so two thirds times 210. 210 times two is 420. So we get 420 thirds. Now let's divide. Three goes into four one time. Three goes into 12 four times. Zero, three can't go into zero, so we have to put our zero up there and there's no remainder. So this is equal to 140 potatoes. So it delivered two thirds or 140 potatoes to the local grocery store, which then packaged half of the potatoes that were delivered. So let's figure out what half of those would be. So now we're on one half of 140. And one half of 140, maybe you know, or you could think of one half of 14 is seven. So one half of 140 would be 70 potatoes. So as the numbers are getting a little smaller, they're getting easier to work with. So half of the potatoes would be 70 potatoes. And they delivered those 70 potatoes in five pound bags. So we took those 70 and split them into five pound bags. So our final step is 70 divided by five to see how many bags they had. So five goes into seven one time. Five goes into 24 times. So that would equal 14 bags, and 14 bags will be our final answer. The following problems are for your enjoyment. They are intended to encourage working together and family problem solving fun. They are not a required, required element of this homework assignment. Six matchsticks are arranged into an equilateral triangle. How can you arrange them into four equilateral triangles without breaking or overlapping any of them? Draw the new shape. So this one's actually very tricky. You have to think um, more four-dimensional rather than just laying flat. So the only way, or one of the way, the only way I could find is by creating a tetrahedron. or something that is four-dimensional. So I'll start by drawing what that would look like. So 
So you can kind of see here, so there, my triangles aren't exactly uh, equilateral, but we would have one face here, one face here, the other face on the back side, and then the face on the bottom of four equilateral triangles. So that's the only way I could figure out how to do it. Um, if you think of a different way, post down below and share what you've come up with. Number three, Kenny's dog Charlie is really smart. Last week, Charlie buried seven bones in all. He buried them in five straight lines and put three bones in each line. How is this possible? Sketch how Charlie buried the bones. So we need to use seven different bones arrange them so that we can get five straight lines that have three bones in each of those lines. How we're going to do that is I'm going to start with three bones here and three bones over there and then put one bone in the middle. So this way we can get one straight line of three, two lines of three, three lines of three, and then we need to go diagonal. So we have four, and then lastly, five. So that is where the five straight lines with three bones in each line will come from. 